Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Adrienne Farrell. I am a digital product specialist and a Google for Education certified trainer. I specialize in how to use anything and everything Google for your teacherpreneur business. My focus is on digitization and today we are going to hop on in and look at how to use the theme builder, also known as Master Slide, in Google Slides to really customize your product before you even begin. So let's jump on in. All right, so here I have Google Slides. I haven't done anything to it at all. I'm gonna go here to View and then Theme Builder. And Theme Builder is where we can customize all those little nitty gritty aspects of our presentation before we even start building anything. So if you click on theme, this is where you're going to be able to edit the font and the font size for everything going forward. So if I go here to Arial, uh, the fonts, I'm going to choose a font to change to. I'm gonna change to Century Gothic. I can also click on more fonts and I can have a bunch of different fonts that are Google fonts, ones that work with Google that I can choose from. Then I can go here and I can either make all of these the same font or I can also, um, maybe make these different fonts depending on how I'm going to design my product. And you can also change the font size for these. So each of these different levels can be different sizes. These are your bullet points for as you go throughout your project. And if you notice here, all of the text has been changed in the layouts. So this is a fantastic way to make sure that you're you don't have to worry about fonts anymore. It's great. Remember, you can only use Google Fonts for that, that particular part. All right, so I can then edit these layouts individually if I'd like. Um, these are the standard ones put out by Google. And then I can also duplicate and create my own. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go here. I'm going to make a box. And this is going to be a directions box for me. I'm gonna make a transparent background. I am going to move my font up here at the top. I am going to change the Century Gothic, move it to 18 and do bold. So I'm gonna say directions. So this will be static in the background. It will not move or be able to be moved by um, anyone in, using the product. Unfortunately, things like align and distribute isn't, um, well, because we don't have multiple objects, but here you can do uh, a vertical distribution to make sure that it's centered on the page. Okay, and then I these boxes here where it says click to edit theme style, these are editable editable boxes on Google. So maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that box. We're gonna put it here and we're gonna maybe put it right here in the middle. So this can be changed. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna take this set of text and then this can go underneath the direction box right here. So now I have a direction slide and I can actually rename this so it is called a direction slide. So when I choose my layout or I choose my, um, or I turn a slide into a different layout, I can see that this is my custom direction slide. You can also delete slides. So maybe I don't think I'll need this one. So I can go ahead and delete that and it won't be part of my, my slide packs. And this is only for this particular slide deck. You're not going to have this be deleted for changing master slides in other, other aspects. Okay. So now I can customize the colors, images, etc. So I'm gonna change the background in here. I can make an image in PowerPoint or upload a border or something like that. Um, that could be really awesome. But I'm gonna just choose this nice little yellow in the background. And then maybe, well, yeah, let's stick with that. And then I could also add an image if I wanted to. Remember to make sure you have rights to your image. So any clip art that you use and you wanna ensure that it is able to be used for commercial purposes if you're pulling anything else in from the web. I am just pulling an image for demo purposes right here. So just do that up in the corner. 
Okay, so now since I put the image on the theme, it's going to go on all of these slides, even the one I created. So it's there in the background. If you want to, you can also just put it on individual slides in the layout. So now this image will only be on this style slide. Um, so that's a great way of customizing individual slides to bring in some color and some different aspects too. Um, and then you can also edit the colors in the theme. So like if I want to change any links, links could be purple in here. Um, maybe my text and my background, my text is actually going to be white. So now I've changed all of this text, like the header text to white, or maybe that's going to be a dark blue. And then text and background there, maybe that one's a light blue. Then let's see other ones like this style of text, maybe that's a yellow. As we can see, this got changed to a yellow there. So, you know, maybe I don't like that. Maybe it needs to be red. So then now I, we have your set font colors for as you're going through your presentation. Um, I would not, um, on a graphic designer standpoint, not look at this as the uh, colors and the theme of <laughs> that you should go with, but this is a demo. Lastly, we will exit out of here and then we can play around and see what these actually look like. So here is our um, header slide. We can actually change the layout here from this aspect. Notice this is the direction slide right here. I can add a title in um, this box. I can also move this box around because it is an edible uh, text box. Same thing for directions. I can edit here. Um, as well, but this, my where it says directions and this box is not being able to be moved. It is permanent in the background per the master slide. And then here, when I add a new slide, I can go to this drop down menu and then I can choose any of these boxes to insert a slide. So this is where I could insert another direction slide in there. And now because I have edited these different layouts, this is going to make my project so much faster because I know um, these are all customized to me and what I need for my product. So that is how you use the theme builder. Again, you find it from view and then theme builder, and it is a fantastic way to save you a lot of time. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe down below and head over to www.adrianfarrow.com to check out all my services, including done for you digitization services, Google coaching, an audit of your teacher store for digital products and information on my courses and other free things that I offer. Uh, hope to see you guys again next week and thank you. Take care. Have a great day.